Hi, it's Carter Hellman, and hi, it's Tucker Hellman, and welcome to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward, where we get tips and advice from top curlers. Hey guys, welcome back to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward. Today, we are here with former Olympian Mike Poplinski, who coaches Team Abin. So Mike, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, uh, I started curling uh, when I was your guys' age. I was 10 years old and I curled in a small club and always wanted to get better. So um, for the first five, six years, I played junior curling and was able to take my game to the next level and um, went to some junior world competitions. Uh, eventually got to the Olympic Games where we took fourth, so I don't have a, a medal to share with you, but uh, we, we did very well. Uh, I, I raised my family then for a bit and got away from the game other than playing socially. And then in the past five to six years, I started coaching uh, juniors and really enjoy that time. Mike, what made you get interested in curling? I think that the first thing that brought me into the game was a, a sign-up sheet at my elementary school. It said, hey, come try curling. And I, I grew up in a curling community, so I was able to try. Uh, and we played with friends for the first few years. And it was just a, a one night a, a week after school. And I learned to, to love the game. And a coach at that time said, you could play this state competition. And once I started doing that, I really got that competitive feel of how to try to advance my game to the next level. And in the, in the process of doing that, I, I met a lot of friends. And the people in curling really brought me to, to want to do more with the game. So Mike, um, what advice do you have for young or new curlers getting into the sport? Well, first of all, I think the, the sport itself is, is one where if you have the ability to play, you have an arena or a club near you, um, bring a friend. You guys get to bring one another, right? You get to play with people that you, you enjoy spending your time with. Because if you take the game to the next level and play competitively or at a very high level, uh, you want to enjoy the time that you're spending with those people. And um, I know coaching team, team Bear, that's one of the things that these guys feel is they feel like they're, they're brothers. They're, they're, they're really closely connected. They love spending their time with one another. The second thing I think that for curling in general is just a game where you can uh, you can make yourself into the top level athlete by putting in time. So if you're willing to put in time, uh, not only as a curler, but training yourself as an athlete, mentally getting stronger, uh, this, you can take this game to, to really high levels. So what is your approach to coaching and what have you learned from coaching a young team? Yeah, I think, I think Coaching in general is always about helping people find what they're passionate about. And uh, I found at a young age that I was passionate about this sport, but I was also really competitive. If I'm playing a game of cards against you, I want to win. And I knew that, that curling could provide that. So um, in the athletes that I started coaching, I wanted to find athletes who are really competitive, but also in, in curling, it's a little bit different because we have what we call the spirit of curling. And I think it's really important to teach that to young players because the game itself um, you can play at a very high level, but it's also a game where we, we are friendly with our opponents and we're friendly with the, the people we even compete against for gold, silver, and bronze. Like those people become friends because it's a, a curling community. Uh, my approach to coaching uh, youth teams is to, to really help them um, have their own desire. I feel like if I'm the one that's driving um, the amount of times we practice and the amount of times we play, uh, I'm doing it wrong and I want to help the kids be motivated in themselves uh, to come out and practice, to play, to ask for more, to want more. And then when they want that, I feel like as a coach who's somebody who's been a part of the game forever, I do have the ability to, to take, give them tidbits of information to keep helping them progress. Okay, Mike, um, last question and probably the most important. Where can you find the best cheese curds in Oak Island, Wisconsin? You can find cheese curds in a lot of places in Wisconsin, but we have a, a, a bar restaurant called uh, Walking Burger Company, and the cheese curds are huge. The, the cheese is melted and delicious and kind of melts in your mouth, so that is where you want to go today. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.
Grow so much since I met you last. You're like here. We playing last year. Yeah. 